So this is the Lego Mark 42 5.54 5-inch uh, gun. This was actually designed by Josta. I'll put a link to her uh, Instagram in this video and all the posts I make about this. Uh, so if you don't know, uh, the 5.54 gun is a uh, anti-aircraft and surface uh, bombardment gun. They were put on the destroyers in the late... Uh, f or early 50s, mid early early to mid 50s, they were a lot uh, on the Forest Sherman class destroyers. They were also put on to the Forestal class aircraft carriers. So as you can see, I have a reference picture of one here. You've, you actually had uh, two back here on the starboard aft side. You also had some on the port side, uh, and you had some up front, depending on the year. Um, so you can actually see there's a reference picture of one. The Saratoga actually had originally, I think, four to five, I think four. Uh, they got rid of two and put in a missile system in place and kept the other two. So I will actually have two of these. I built one, I'll be building another eventually. Uh, eventually this will be installed onto the uh, hull. Uh, until I get the hull done, I'm gonna attach this securely to the deck uh, underneath the catwalk, deck catwalk. Uh, so, her design is just the gun. I actually built the platform here, uh, and I'm still working on it. But it, it does rotate. The gun does move up and down. Let's see if I can do it with one hand. I'm actually doing this with my phone. But you can see it does move up and down. So these are what they call frog eyes. <clears throat> and uh, depending on, so like I'm going to be building the USS Turner Joy here uh, late this year, early next year. And... Some of them had, some of these guns, which I'll be using this design, had what they called the frog eyes, which one was the, one of the bubbles here was the uh, anti-aircraft and the other was the ground. Some of them later on in the war during Vietnam, they got rid of it and only had one and just closed this space off. Or they just had one and had like a clear bubble or just a little hatch that you could open up. So they didn't have just the top big uh, extended hatches. Just depends on the year and the version. Um, but she nicely incorporated these in here. Uh, you can act like you have a figure in there. Um, the door does open uh, to lead inside, and which is a very nice touch. I, I she commissioned this for me, uh, and that was one of the things I wanted to have on here was a, the hatch, the door. Uh, in the Navy, it's called a hatch. Uh, you also have a third bubble up here, which I can't remember the technical term. Now, the way this gun is loaded in real life underneath here, there would be a, a big tube, and underneath that tube, um, there would be a uh, the magazine room, which is where the um, um, ammo would be. And so, unlike World War II, the uh, ammo would actually come up on like a hydraulic system, and it would come up, and then it would suck it up, and then into the barrel, so there wasn't a lot of manual labor. Now, early on in, the, in these versions, there was, but as they progressed, there wasn't. Um, now, unfortunately, I won't have that feature with the big, because I just don't have room. And even on the turn of joy, I won't have that feature. But I do have, if I uh, take this off here, the roof does come off. It's just held with hinge plates. Uh, I did add a breech, which I'm still working out the breech design. But I do have two dungarees in here. You would actually have four or five in here. Uh, you'd have one or two up in each bubble depending on the little bubbles uh, and you'd have two or three up here um, with the gun working with the gun system you can also see I've added some um, ammo back there so we've got some high piercing rounds and I'm gonna add a few more back here and I'm gonna add a little bit more detail in here as well I don't have a picture I think on hand uh, I have posted before of different uh, like the cutaway of the 554 gun mark 42 but Mainly, this is here. I'm here to talk about her uh, build. It is very well done. If I can tilt this off the plate, uh, I'm missing a piece there because I took it off. Uh, but it's even got some snot techniques with some slopes to give it that round curve. The roof is actually on there very securely, so that is very nice. It didn't take me very long to build, and I think there was only about 38, 39 pages uh, of instructions, basically. Uh, again, I'll put a link into to her uh, page on here. Uh, this was a commission build that she did for me. I'm very happy with it. Very, very, very satisfied. And I can't wait to get another one built and get both of these put on the Saratoga. 
Uh, like I said, please go check her out. She does a fantastic job. Um, and I, I can't stress that enough. This turned out amazing compared to my little, little, little itty bitty one I made. So, uh, a while back, if you remember, but yeah, this, this build is absolutely amazing. It's got enough play features in there. It is mini fixed scale, which is why I'm going to be using this on the Saratoga and the USS Turner Joy when I start it later this year. Uh, so yeah, uh, pretty awesome. You can look up the Mark 42 gun, 554. There's different variants during the years they've upgraded and all that. So, but please go check her out again. It's a very cool thing she did for me and I'm very happy with the design and the, the work she put into this uh, to get it very accurate as possible. I provided her with a lot of reference pictures and uh, cutaways and she did a phenomenal job getting it as accurate as you can in Lego form. So I really appreciate that. Again, please go check her out and thanks again. Bye for now.